tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Four years old and I wow. got into How old are you now? Sorry, Matthew. How old are you now? I'm 18 now. You're 18 now. Okay. So you started when you were four years old. Yeah, I was four years old and I got into it because my mom used to play before. So my mom was also like number one in the Philippines. Oh, and wow. She was also the first uh, Filipino to get a pro ranking in the WTA. So, nice. yeah, so she really like, um, you know, she started me off in tennis, swimming, golf, and football first. Oh, wow. That's a lot <laughs> so, yeah. of sports. So I was like playing a lot of sports. And then yeah. when I was about 12, I just did tennis and football. Okay. And then, narrowed it down yeah. to tennis and football. Yeah, and then I eventually just decided to pursue tennis. So, yeah. yeah. Like, even so before what... when I was playing tennis and football, like, yeah. I always enjoyed just going to tennis practice more, I think. And so, I don't really know what it was. Maybe because my mom played there, I don't know. But my dad also played football, so I guess I had both of, like, the... Yeah, you, know, you had both of those, but, yeah. But, yeah, I just really enjoyed playing tennis more. Like, I, I really enjoy also watching tennis. So, yeah, um, yeah that made me, like, more, like... Uh, excited to always play you know practice yeah. right yeah it was obviously hard because my dad used to play football and also on my dad's side all my cousins play football so i have like i'm an only child but i have 17 first cousins and wow 17 that's a lot. I'm just on my dad's side yeah so all of them play football so it was kind of hard just to like tell them that i wanted to do tennis because yeah. that's what everyone was doing everyone was doing football yeah and of course like i was a bit shy to tell my dad that but but after yeah. I told them, like, this is really what I want to do, uh, they were really, like, supportive of me and yeah. until this day. So. I used to not like doubles at all, but since I won all those tournaments, I, I guess it's, like, more Maybe fun. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's less tiring and and uh, you have someone you can, like, communicate with. So it's, I think, more exciting. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I think it was just really special to finally win a, a tournament here, uh, like a filter tournament, because yeah. I was, was trying for so long. But to win uh, 10 of them in 14 and 16, um, I never thought I would achieve. But uh, I'm just, you know, I, I, re I really worked hard uh, to uh, to win the tournaments here. And also, um, it was really special because it enabled me to be in the national team. Uh, right, yeah. I won the tournament, so, uh, yeah. yeah. Sure, when I played the Junior Davis Cup, I remember uh, my coach said, you're playing, and I didn't expect to play uh, the yeah. first match. And so I was really, really nervous uh, my first match. And uh, I was just really happy to win. But for sure, playing for your country is a different kind of pressure. Um, when I was playing before, obviously, I still represented the Philippines, but not like with a team. And so um, like for the Davis Cup, uh, that was a different kind of pressure that I didn't feel before, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's something that I had to achieve in the Davis Cup. But then now I think I've adjusted a bit better to the pressure. I'd say there's yeah. one uh, tournament. I, I would say, like, the experience in general, traveling all over the world and getting to, like, meet new people, see different countries and just play tournaments, like like all the way in Europe or Oceania, all these kind of places. I think that's definitely like the biggest thing that I like. like yeah, I can imagine. No, I can. Yeah, but definitely if I had to put one one tournament, I'd say it was really special to win here in Manila because my all my family was here to see it. Um, and I really wanted to win here in the Philippines. So yeah, that was probably one of my, my most uh, memorable. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, I was quite lucky because uh, I could still play. So I wasn't completely out. So at least I could still play, you know. And yeah. so that was my only consolation that even though I can't like play my best, I could still practice at least. Yeah. So it made it a lot easier. But uh, definitely That's just nice. doing the right prevention every day, uh, going to the physio, uh, doing whatever necessary to heal the injury. Um, these are the things I think that helped me recover yeah definitely it could be much better um to be frank i think there's no program uh, implemented for juniors there's no training program done yeah. by the filta so i think that's definitely something they could do because i think we have the talent a lot of players here are very talented but there's not uh, a program set forth by the federation to train 
these talented players. So everyone is doing it on their own. And I think yeah. that's why we don't have that many players right now. Uh, but definitely there's a lot of people who have potential to to be good but it's just that the federation doesn't really have any program for them to compete in and um, also I think uh, during this time in the pandemic I think they could do much better they could probably um, host a tournament where we have to comply with some guidelines because yeah, we, haven't problem, anything, yeah. we haven't played anything since uh, almost a year so I think number one is just to maintain the passion for the sport I think because that's number one because you're not gonna have um, a good day every day you're gonna have a lot of bad days for sure so yeah. I think just maintaining the passion for the sport is really key for the young people because that's what's gonna motivate you to to work harder every day and also I would say is to like just follow your dreams you know like if you want to travel then uh, you know just work hard and keep keep keeping up the the motivation to reach your goals I think playing tennis has taught me to uh, bounce back when I'm down so yeah. I think in life definitely you're gonna have like rough moments and I think sports teaches you to just keep fighting through that and that there's always gonna be you know like light at the end <laughs> for you and also I would say that it teaches you a lot of discipline uh, like I think now with my school uh, I think just going to practice every day teaches you to to just get things done on time so uh, I try to like bring that on to my academics also like I try to pass my work on time and I think that's a trait that I got from playing tennis and um, I would also say that uh, traveling the world also makes you more like well-rounded you you understand different cultures I think and uh, you just know your way around I'd say so there's a lot of things I think I, I learned from tennis great um well, I think it's more for like all tennis players. It's just the love for the sport that keeps you going. But um, I just really enjoy practicing, to be honest. Like, yeah. I, you don't really have to force me to get on the court and practice, which I think is uh, really good for um, people who want to get better. Because if you are always dragging yourself to training, then it's quite hard <laughs> because you don't really like what you're doing. So yeah. I'd say like just practicing in general is what like keeps me it's really fun for me yeah so, um that nah, it's really easy for me to get myself to practice yeah, how long are you nadal is a great example um because he, he never throws his racket he always has a good attitude on the court <laughs> um, he always fights really hard and um i think he has the best like mental uh mental strength on the tour so I think like he's a great example for young kids out there. And also I think Federer also, um, they're both like really cool. You know, they don't get angry. So they're definitely good, um, good uh, ambassadors of the sport. Mental, uh, mental strength on the tour. So I think like he's a great example for young kids out there. And also I think Federer also, um, they're both like really cool. You know, they don't get angry. So they're definitely good. Um, good uh, ambassadors of the sport. Yeah, I noticed you mentioned like the importance of composure or athlete behavior on the court. No, so with that, I'd like to ask you if you were to pick the values that the sport has taught you, uh, what would you, what would they be? The values. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it teach me to be, I guess, calm under pressure. <laughs> Uh, well, it's easier said than done. Um, you know, I always tell myself like I'm gonna be positive this match and all that, but you never really know because uh, things can change so quickly in tennis, and then you get frustrated. So, but I think yeah, it just teaches you to to be patient and to be calm. Also, I think under pressure, yes, yeah. you mentioned- it's different. Like I think in Asia, it's the same group that travels all around, so it's really nice. Because you kind of get to meet the same people, and then yeah. oh, you're going to this place, you're going to and this place, like and you see them again. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes it's really fun. Like you, you meet like a lot of friends. I met a lot of good friends on the ITF circuit, but of course, there's like people who aren't very nice, and that's normal. Uh, yeah. in sports, and you just have to deal with them. But I'd say for the most part, like uh, the, the juniors, they're really fun to be around, and, and it's a great experience just like meeting like different people from different countries and getting to know them 10 years from now uh 
hopefully I'll be working. Um, I also want to like do coaching on the side. I think I, I like I'd like to be a tennis coach also on the side. And also, it's been my dream to open like a tennis shop with all the equipment because I'm really passionate about that, uh, like the equipment, all the gear and stuff. So yeah, hopefully, like doing a business, something to do with tennis, or if not, it's also fine. <laughs> I would just say to enjoy the sport. I think that's the number one. Enjoy the sport. Um, work hard, and yeah, that's basically much it. Just enjoy the sport, work hard, and just keep chasing for your dreams. I think that's the most important thing. It's that it's great to start what you do at such a young age, like what he mentioned, the importance of exposing yourself and getting yourself out there per se so matthew has turned into a rising tennis star and i wouldn't be shocked if he continues to blaze his trail and represent the country more and more as he grows older especially with all the goals he has in his mind through discipline determination and the importance of chasing his passion just like what he said he was able to come this far in his career and there's so much out there for him just because of tennis and what he has done Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Z81 Radio Manila.